I got the Squid Trex on. It's got uh, this UV coating in it. Uh, it's got uh, Squid Essence. Really incredible vibing action on the lift and on the drop, the tentacles quiver. And uh, it is the perfect squid. It is getting down really easy here. We're in three, 400 feet of water, getting it down in 600 feet of water even. This is the large one. The Squid Trex comes in four different sizes from one ounce up to four and a half ounce. And there's eight different colors. The action, you wanna drop this to the bottom, be ready for a bite at any point. Once you get to the bottom, you can lift and drop. You can do big long lifts or short little lifts. You can even let this in the rod holder and the motion of the boat will just keep those tentacles working. It has a great vibing action on the lift and on the drop it glides down the tentacles quivering. Once in a while, if we get some midwater marks, I'll crank up maybe 20 cranks, maybe more. Sometimes getting bit, then drop back down, repeat. I like to watch the sound of where you're doing this. You want to be in a good position to be able to see that. If there's a lot of current around, you want to pitch it down current from the boat a little ways to help get it down. But so far, we've got about half a knot of tide here right now. This is beautiful jigging conditions, and we're just dropping it down. No worries at all. This is a great lure for slow pitch jigging. Very similar methods, same tackle. And the fish seem to love it. Check that out, a little octopus, baby octopus head. Scott just caught a nice strawberry grouper here in the shallows jigging the, the new squid tracks. And uh, as he gets it up boat side, it regurgitates this little octopus. Everything loves these squid and octopus. And that's what we're using here. Just match the hat. Show me your lure there, Scott. Looks, look at the color of that. Oh, I'm getting bit. That tentacle there. This little tentacle. Oh, I just got bit again. Same colors. Ha! Here we go, got him, got him. Is it dragging it? Just barely doing anything, yep. Oh, check this guy out, Queen. Are these good to eat? Yes. Check the colors out on that thing. So one of the things you can do, I was talking about the octopus head that got regurgitated by the strawberry grouper that Scott just caught, and my lure, I was holding in the other hand, barely moving it, and it got thumped. The other way is you drop it down and put it in the rod holder once it gets to the correct depth. And just the, the rocking motion of the boat because those tentacles kind of flutter in the water. Real easy when you've got things going on, you can just put one down there and set it and uh, sit back and watch or, or get around and do some work and rig some other tackle to still be effectively fishing. This is a fun combination, this rod, and this reel and this braid and this vibe, this Squid Trex vibe. There's been so many great things about this trip, but I've been really enjoying fishing these squid tricks. Oh, you're kidding me. His skin, is his skin hooked? Big Martin. Yeah, boys! Yes! Dude, that is my biggest mutton on a lure. That on the squid tracks, mate. That's awesome. How good is that? Hey, look at that. On the squid tracks. This trip has been insane. As we try to recap and think back of all the awesome experiences on this trip and the trials and tribulations of trying to get here in rough weather, it's fish like this on artificial that just make it, I mean, this, this is a memory that I won't forget, catching a, mutton snapper of this size on a lure. These are smart fish, 
big mutton snapper on a lure. I mean, how good is that? Nomad Design Tackle, crafted by experience.